When you read notes, only a small portion of the information sticks in your memory, while the rest fades away even before you close the book, especially if you're using passive learning methods like reading, summarizing, highlighting, or listening to lectures and podcasts. If this sounds familiar, this video is for you. In it, you'll discover how active recall can help you build a strong memory. I'll also share the exact methods I use in medical school to achieve great results. Plus, I have a challenge for you. Grab a piece of paper and write down some key points from this video. At the end, I'll test how well your passive note-taking has worked. What is active recall? Meet Kabu, who is busy reading some notes. As he reads, certain areas of his brain become highly active. The occipital cortex helps create images of what he sees, while the angular gyrus and the fusiform cortex work together to interpret the written words. Once this information is processed, it's sent to the hippocampus to be stored as memory. Just like exercising muscles can promote growth, the best way to develop a strong memory is by stimulating the hippocampus. How do you do this? The answer is through active recall. Simply reading notes basically stimulates the visual areas of the brain, but it doesn't effectively engage the hippocampus. This is why rereading is less effective compared to active recall. So how can Cabot better stimulate his hippocampus? He should close his book and try to recall what he's learned. By doing this, he isn't relying on the book, but on his hippocampus. This practice stimulates the hippocampus and strengthens his memory. Each time he does this, his memory becomes even stronger. How to effectively do an active recall? Method one, the question method. Start by learning the concepts from your resources and taking notes. Next, create a list of questions based on those notes. When studying, try to answer these questions without looking at your notes. If you can answer them correctly, congratulations. You build a strong memory. If not, review your notes and try again. Additionally, you can make flashcards with questions on one side and answers on the other. This method helps reinforce your memory by repeatedly testing your recallability and reviewing the material as needed. Method 2. The Anki Method Utilize a spaced repetition tool like Anki, which is a flashcard app. You can input questions on the front of the cards and answers on the back. The smart feature of Anki is its spaced repetition algorithm. It will present the same set of questions at increasing time intervals, meaning you will review the material today, then again three days later, then seven days later, and so on. This technique combines spaced repetition with active recall, making it an incredibly effective study method for long-term retention. Method three, utilize multiple sensory pathways for active recall. Engage different senses to enhance your recall. Don't rely solely on mental recall. Try writing on a whiteboard or speaking the information out loud. You can even pretend to teach the concepts to an imaginary audience. By stimulating your brain through multiple sensory pathways, you strengthen your memory and reinforce the material more effectively. Method four, practice questions. Answering practice questions is a great way to use active recall. When you answer questions, you're pulling information directly from your memory, which helps reinforce what you've learned. This method also tests your understanding of the concepts and helps you get used to recalling information under pressure, just like during an actual exam. If you've watched this far, let's do a challenge. I'll ask them questions from this video. Try to answer them without looking at your notes, relying only on your memory. This will show you how much more effective active recall is compared to passive learning methods. The answers can be found in the description.